Hey guys, it's Jasmine and I'm back with another video. I'm here with my sister Destiny. Hey guys. And we're also in her apartment, which is super cute. She already pretty much decorated it, but we're just gonna kind of refresh and move some of the furniture around because it's not exactly how she wanted it. And did you want to say something? Yeah, so as you guys have seen her other videos, she has a really cool style, a lot of plants and a lot of shelves. And my house is really plain. It's really simple, it's all natural. So I just wanted a little something more to give it a little more style and a little more flair versus just being plain. So we're gonna try to make that happen and we'll catch you guys in a little bit. So here's the living room and the way that it started. It's really cute. You can tell she has great style and has amazing furniture. The only thing is the walls were pretty plain and the way that the room is kind of set up is a little strange. So the living room is compartmentalized into one small section and then the dining room in that little cove. But the living room wasn't really taking up enough of the center of the room. So what we wanted to do is create a floor plan that would kind of um, occupy more of that center space. So we're in her bedroom and she has this really pretty rug. So I'm thinking we're gonna switch this rug with a rug in the living room because this one's actually really big and it will take up more floor space. This is the heaviest bed in the world. It's huge. So we need to call in the mattress. mattress. <laughs> so we're getting this rug out and we're gonna move it to Whoa. the living room. <laughs> Okay, we got the rug up. It was a mission. Heavy. It's, it's humongous and it's covering most of the cement, which is good because it makes it look more homey. So that's why we did that mission, but it's <laughs> crazy. It's worth it, it looks more cozy. This rug was a game changer for this living room because the rug kind of defines the lines of where the living room and the dining room are because it's all in one room. Having this larger rug kind of defined the lines of the living room being a little bit larger. So it gave us a little bit more leeway to kind of play around with the layout of the furniture and the floor plan. And so we turned the couch to face the television, kind of bringing the living room more to the center of the room. And as you guys know, a room wouldn't be a room decorated by me if it didn't have plants. So we brought some more of her plants up to the living room just to add that pop of color. I love all the neutral tones, which is amazing, but can sometimes be a little bit monochromatic. So adding plants and the little hints and accents of color bring a little bit more visual interest to the room. Another decorating tip is playing with different heights, textures, and shapes and even color can play a role in creating visual interest for a room. Okay, so most of the living room is set up the way we're gonna have it, but we're just looking for something to kind of fill out this wall. So I found these, she had these on her dining room table, and these were like chargers or placemats, but we're gonna use them to build a basketball. So she's looking around right now to find any other placemats or, um, basket looking things even though they may not be a basket it has like a weaving and it's made out of either like jute or um some kind of wicker she found this one which is really perfect so we're going to use these to build a basket wall above the tv 
Since the basket wall will be the central focus on this wall, we decided to remove these picture frames and we'll use them somewhere else in the house. different things. We're going to see how we can work them together on the wall. And this is what we came up with. So she wanted to cover up that smoke detector or smoke alarm. I don't know how safe it is and I don't want to recommend it. I would double check just to make sure, but that's what we did for her because that's what she wanted to do. This is legitimately the story of my life. <laughs> but so worth it. <laughs> so we so we finished the basket wall and it looks really cute, but we noticed that most of the baskets look the same. So it's very uniform and it looks like she said something that you'd buy from Ross that's like already put together, <laughs> which is pretty funny. But um, as time goes on and as like the stores open up, again, we're gonna start like looking for baskets at like Ross or Marshalls or Burlington Coat Factory, places that have like really unique baskets at an affordable price, cause you know how we are. So um, yeah, just stay tuned. We'll be updating you on what it looks like. And if you follow us on Instagram, we'll link it in the description box. You can stay up with the way that we update it and change it up over time. Ready to get started on the dining room, which if you remember, it looks like that. So we're going to see what stuff that she has around that we can pull and put into that space. And she also has been collecting for the last couple of weeks, some plants. Some plants. Some really cute ones. Oh, Some little girlfriends that need help. <laughs> <laughs> but most of them are good. <laughs> so we're gonna see if we can work and incorporate those plants into this space. So the first thing I wanted to do in here was clear all the furniture out and um, take out this jute rug so that we could bring in the white wool rug that was in her living room. So that rug is perfect because the table is already brown, so I thought that the white wool would contrast well with um, the brown table. <laughs> this is the struggle. We're trying to use wall anchors, which are really hard to use for me. I don't know why, but homegirls trying to make it happen. And it's literally stuck in the wall. We got a chunk of this whole piece broke off. So if you want to see how to make shelves like this, these were made the exact same way that I made the other ones on my channel, so I'll link the video for you. These are just pieces of wood from Home Depot and then um, brackets from either Amazon or I think Home Depot sells some too.
wraps it up for this video. If you'd like to see more videos of us making over her home, um, go ahead and leave that in the comment section so we know if you liked this video. Um, the house came out super cute and what did you think about it? I love it. I think it added a lot more. It was really plain. Now it has like a lot of character. I have a lot of other spaces in this house that can use some revamping. So if you guys want to see the rest of my house get done, just leave a comment and let us know. Yes. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button if you like this video. Thank you. And we'll see you next time. Hey guys, it's Jasmine and I'm back with another video. This is my sister. <laughs>